When you first start out as an artist, you tend to think you need every tool that's out there. Fancy pens, posh sketchbook. Oh, I might need some softer pencils. Let's take a hard pencil. Tell you what, let's take all pencils. Oh, I'd love to do pastels though. What if it's a pastel kind of day? Do you know what I've realised I've forgotten as well? I need water. Okay, we need water. Where do we get water from? Kitchen sink. The fact is, you can own all the art materials in the world, but that won't actually make you a good artist. Actually, doing the practice and doing the work will. This is going to be really quite heavy to take out. Oh, how am I going to do this? Do you know what I might take? Biro. Sketchbook. So how do you make that one pen do everything that you want? Okay, so let me show you an exercise that's really handy to do to, to um, find out just how much your one pen can do. So I've separated my um, page, you can see, into circles and I'm basically trying out different marks on each circle. So the first one I started with some just little ticks and you can overlay those ticks with more ticks to make them darker in certain areas. The next um, circle I'm using just crisscross marks and you can already see that's created a real sort of textural effect. And you can also see that as I've gone down with those um, crisscross marks, I've got lighter and lighter and lighter. And it's actually really surprising the different tones you can get with a biro. Um, that's the beauty of a biro, I think. Uh, the next one I'm doing little squiggles, basically, and getting bigger and bigger and lighter and lighter. And that'll kind of give a kind of 3D effect. I'm just going on and on like that, really. Just really haven't got anything in mind I'm just using those circles to kind of just come up with little ideas and just trying things out really so once you've done these would you then bring some of these textures into drawings that you're doing yeah I mean that's the point really you're you can even write little notes next to each one to say what you think that would be good for um some of them might be good for water some of them might be good for I don't know hair or bristles I mean and then you can introduce those techniques into your sketching. And you can do pages and pages of these to really get to know your tools and use your imagination. So really all you need is some paper and a pen and you can create some absolutely lovely sketches just with those two things. So practice making some different marks with whatever your tool of choice is and remember, keep your sketches simple. Why not check out our previous videos and don't forget to subscribe so you never miss your Art Kick Sunday. Meanwhile, you can check out our podcast and find the creative challenges we have coming up at www.kickinthecreatives.com. Back soon.